For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believes on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Eternal life is sought by Jesus Christ. Death is sure. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. You may be walking and talking at this moment, and the next moment you may take the step off into eternity. Once you take that step, you cannot return. The Bible speaks of an afterlife, a heaven and a hell. There is no other. There is absolutely no other place but heaven or hell for a man who has passed away to go. To get to heaven, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. are for those who have rejected Jesus Christ, rejected God's Son, God's offering. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There is salvation no other name but the name that's given the Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God was shed abroad by His Son. The Son giveth life. Without the Son, you'll have damnation, condemnation. That is hell. Jesus Christ came to give us life. For those that have believed on the gospel, that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures. He was buried. And he arose again the third day, according to the scriptures. Now for some of you who do not read the Bible, and you think that Jesus Christ said something not that he really said. I'm going to read a passage to you out of Matthew chapter 10, verse 28. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 10, 28. Jesus Christ speaking. And fear not that which can kill the body but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Jesus Christ preached about hell. Matthew 10, 28, you take that to your panty waist preacher or priest and tell him Jesus spoke about hell. And he said, his Father in heaven has the power to take your body and your soul and put it into hell to burn forever. Don't come to me, Jesus never preached hell. Don't come to me, Jesus 
want to do what you're doing? What do you think he did on the mount? What do you think he did with his sermon on the mount? He stood amongst the people as I am sitting here and preached the word of God. And he told the people that if you don't do what God tells you to do, you're going to hell. And going to hell is not believing Jesus Christ is your Savior. What must I do to be saved? Acts 16.31. I'm quoting scripture. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's the scripture. That is what the Bible says. We've got a religion running around that's killing people in the name of Allah. And Jesus said, don't fear those that can kill you. But he says the one you are to fear is the one that can take your body and your soul and cast it off into hell. That's who to fear. The United States of America does not want you to fear the God of the Bible. They want you to hold to religion. Because Obama does not want to burn in hell alone with Satan. He wants his American citizens to burn with him. He has no care and no love for the God of the Bible. And you people here at the Daytona Beach uh, Farmer's Market, you're just as bad as Obama. Because you have no care and no love for the Word of God or Jesus Christ, neither. There are two positions. Standing up for Jesus Christ in the Bible, or rejecting Jesus Christ in the Bible. And you're doing the same thing that President Obama's doing. You're rejecting the God of the Bible and the Lord Jesus Christ. It's the same thing. And you'll end up in the same place for all eternity. Now, if Obama would come and trust Jesus Christ as his Savior to be washed in the blood of the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, he will be saved just as much as I am saved today. If you were to come to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be washed in the blood, the gospel that Jesus died for your sins, according to the Scriptures, and was buried, and arose again according to the Scriptures, you've got the salvation set by God. For the one that died for our sins, the one that arose from the grave according to the Scriptures said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yeah. And no man cometh unto the Father I know. but by me. Yeah. That excludes religion. I'm a Catholic boy. I'm a Catholic boy. Okay. So I'm, I'm pulling my stuff back. So I'm not, I don't believe in all that shit that's going on. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes, it's not being a Catholic, it's believing on the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. It's not that, behold, the Catholic took away the sin of the world. Behold, the Lamb of God which take away the sins of the world. It is said, as soon as I turn that, John 3, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. When you die to get to heaven, now is the time to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Not then. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. You will face judgment one day. And there are only two judgments. And it's not one general judgment. You will face the judgment seat of Christ for those who have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ 
and you will be judged by your actions after salvation. You will possibly, and I hope you don't, appear before the great white throne judgment. There will be no born-again Bible-believing Christians at the great white throne judgment. When you appear before the great white throne judgment rejecting Jesus Christ as your Savior, you will be judged according to your works. The books will be open. And if your work, if your work can be superior of Jesus Christ's finished work, If you can go above Jesus Christ in your works, then you can go from the great white throne judgment into heaven. And that's not going to happen. Because Jesus Christ, the Bible says, was sinless. You are not. You're going to die. Because you are a sinner. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You're going to die. And yet there's hope after death, the blessed hope, the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you were to believe and put your faith and your sins under the blood of Jesus Christ, repent and believe. Thou shalt be saved. But if you choose to reject Jesus Christ, the message of the Bible, and trust in what you're doing, and trust in your religion, and trust in your church, and trust you're somebody important. John chapter 3, And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. The wrath of God is hell. The lake of fire. That Jesus said in Matthew 10, 28. I'm glad I learned that verse last night. And you're going to hear it more. I learned another verse. Isaiah 58, 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. If you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, you are a sinner above all sinners. Let's deal with the number one sin. Rejecting Jesus Christ as your Savior to wash away your sins. I'm not talking about lying. I'm not talking about adultery. I'm not talking about sodomy. I'm talking about you rejecting Jesus Christ as your Savior. That is the sin that will put you into hell. You can be washed from your sins by the blood or you can be clean you can be you can be cleaned by the flames of hell forever and if you choose to have your sins washed by your own merit it will take for eternity and the hell fire to cleanse your sins you'll never get out from cleansing your own sins because you cannot cleanse your own sins. But at the moment you were to come now and ask Jesus Christ to save you, to believe in the gospel that He died for your sins according to the Scriptures, and He was buried, and He arose again the third day according to the Scriptures, you can be washed. You can be clean.
in the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world, then you can go to glory. Then you can go to heaven. Then you can be forever with God. But if you continue to reject what God has given to you is offering you right now the free gift of life. Enjoy Mr. Bongo Man right now because you will not hear his bongos in hell. Enjoy your fruits and vegetables because they won't be there in hell. Your popes, your Allah, your Muhammad's will be there with you in hell screaming in torture. Wishing you would have believed the preacher that preached from the Bible. It's the Lord Jesus Christ and nothing and no one else. It's the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Not saints. Not human blood. That's Satan. See, this guy can't play his own real music. He's got to have a recording. But I've got the same message right here in words. The words that say, you must be born again. I'm going to heaven. Are you born again? I don't know what that means. You're not going to heaven. I'm going to heaven. Are you washed in the blood of Jesus Christ? No, you're not going to heaven. I'm going to heaven. Is it by Jesus Christ? No. Peter's going to let me into the pearly gates. Why? Because I said a prayer. No, you're going to go into the hell gates. You go to heaven by the one that said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. For the Bible says that Jesus has suffered the little children to come unto me. You are to bring your children to Jesus Christ for salvation. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. One day, you're going to wish you had listened to this big mouth preacher. You're going to wish you took God serious. But that day will be too late unless you turn to Jesus Christ today and repent. There may not be a tomorrow for you. Two weeks ago a bunch of people went out drinking and they never went home. Now either they went to heaven or they went to hell. That choice was on what they'd done with Jesus Christ. And let me tell you about the people at the polls in Orlando. They heard Bible preaching before they went there every Saturday night, just as you hear Saturday morning. I know. The same God was preached to those souls that perished in one night because of Allah. You forgot Allah killed them people. Jesus Christ gave his life that you may have life. The biblical Jesus says never to take life. He shed his life. He shed his blood that you may be forgiven, that you may have eternal life. That's the difference between religion and the Bible. Religion is man-made. Jesus Christ is God approved. The ticket to heaven is that Jesus died for your sins.
Christian. That he was buried. And he arose again the third day. How's your church leader doing? Is he still a stiff? Is your religion still in the ground? My Savior is seated at the right hand of the God the Father right now. And you know what? He may come back today. He may come back right now. He may come back ten years. He may not he may not come to a hundred years, but he's coming. Whether you die or he comes, if you are not washed in the blood, you are damned. How about a better word? If you die without Jesus Christ, you'll be goddamned. I'll read it to you. Whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. He that believeth not on the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. This is the condemnation that you have rejected Jesus Christ. You will go to hell. I didn't cuss. I just told you what John chapter 3 and Revelation 20 said. You want to be God blessed? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Minus your religion. Minus being a good person. For there is none good. No, not one. There is none righteous. There is none that doeth good. And death and hell were cast in the lake of fire. This is the second death. Imagine going off into hell and coming out standing before God in judgment and being cast into the lake of fire. That's Revelation chapter 20. That's the Bible. The same Bible says that you are to bring your child to Jesus Christ. Jesus speaking. We are preaching to you the words of life. We are preaching the words to you that we have lived and learned. It's all set by the book. The Jehovah Witnesses have a watchtower. We have a Bible. They don't use their Bible. The Mormons have another testament of Jesus Christ, but they don't have the Bible. They got a Bible, but they don't read the Bible. The Catholics have a missile. So does Russia. I mean, they have a Bible, but they don't read the Bible. They go by the missile. How come religions? Islam has a Koran and no Bible. How come the only true relationship with God is based upon a Bible and not some writings of a man? Well, the Bible was written by men. Yeah, it's how men wrote your textbooks too. The man wrote what that excuse you just used. This Bible is no other book. This Bible is inspired by the breath of God. The pen may be man, but the ink is the Holy Spirit. This Bible is much better than the newspaper. Newspapers full of lies and deceit and bad news, and dollar seventy-five will put it on your doorstep. We'll get you a free Bible. <laughs> Come on over here. You want a Bible? We'll get you a free King James Bible. For your entire life. Try to get a free newspaper over there for your entire life. And the Bible never changes. The Bible's the same story. Jesus Christ. That newspaper, oh 
people shot here, people shot there, this guy arrested, uh, Trump's going to do this, Clinton can't do this, uh, there's turmoil in Germany. It's all different. you got to change their story every day for you to buy their junk. But the same story lies in the pages of the Bible every day, every year. We are preaching the same message that the disciples preach in the book of Acts. Jesus saves. The newspapers pervert. You know, what the, you know what the gospel said about the people in Jesus? They couldn't get to Jesus because of the press. That's depressing. Yet when America was in her great revivals, newspapers would print the messages of the evangelists and the preachers of America that made America great by putting their sermons in the Monday edition of the paper that you may read them. Once your name shows up in the obituary list, you cannot change your life. Death is coming. Death is sure if you're lost. If you're lost without Christ, you will die. So for someone who has believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, you may not die. The rapture may happen right now, and then we'll be without death. But if I were to die right now before the rapture, the Bible says for those that are saved, absent from the body, present with the Lord. As if you're saved here, and you have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, if you take your last breath, you will be with God. If you are lost and never believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you take your last breath. The Bible says in the Gospel of Luke that you woke up in hell. That's Bible. Well, I don't believe the Bible. Are you willing to bet your eternity on that? Are you really willing to take your life and gamble it away, thinking that hopefully that the Bible's wrong. I'll tell you about something about people in graveyards. They're Bible believers today. Wherever they are. Some to glory and some to condemnation. Listen, this is the same message that's been preached for 2,000 years. This is the same message that people have laid their lives down. Amen. This is the same message sent by God. Jehovah's Witnesses are something new. Mary Baker Eddy is something new. The Mormons are something new. They're just recently conceived. Out of Satan's womb. But the Bible is 2,000 years. The Bible is prophetic. That 48 prophecies about Jesus Christ and all 48 came to pass 100%. Do you know how many times the Jehovah Witnesses said that Jesus was about to come back? According to the Jehovah Witnesses, Jesus was supposed to be back here four times. Well, that's a lie, because he hasn't come back. Thank you for being here. Thank you. The Mormons just want to use Jesus Christ for their sexual pleasure and marrying multiple wives. But none of their prophecies have happened. You cannot find Native Americans with Hebrew names. Bring out those golden plates. You will put a child adopter, a, a person who has sexual relations,
is what they tell in prison today, and yet the founder of the Muslim religion had his own teenage bride. Why didn't you put him in jail? Yet Jesus Christ was pure, sinless, and God himself, according to Acts 20.28. 20, See, the savor of the body, the savor of the soul, Matthew 10.28, is God. Now, I'm offended. He's awfully loud. The words of life are upon this book that Jesus saves and Jesus alone saves. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. No. 
fool in my car about not having love. If I don't have any love, what I'm doing here trying to tell you to prevent you from going to hell? Well, it's not love. Your preacher don't know love. Your preacher's probably deceiving you and probably of Satan. Corinthians 11. Only Jesus saves. Yahweh. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There's salvation in no other. You can't stop the word of God. Heaven and earth may pass away. Oh, Mother Earth going away. Save the whales. Heaven and earth may pass away, but Jesus said, My word shall never pass away. See, if you don't like the Bible, you won't like heaven, because that's where the Bible's going. If all is well, there's no hell, why do you tell someone to go to hell? You say go to hell, and we tell you not to go to hell. Who's got love? Another expression, go jump in the lake. According to Revelation 20, that lake is fire. You're really full of love. The love of God is spread abroad that Jesus died for your sins. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life because I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Now, I may fear the method of death, but death itself is glory. I'll open my eyes to Jesus Christ. Where will you open your eyes upon death? And if you said anything other than heaven or hell, you're wrong. The Bible says you're wrong. Oh, I don't believe in God. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Jesus said for one man, when he died, he opened up his eyes in hell. He opened his eyes in hell. Another writer of the Bible said, another writer said to be absent from the body and present with the Lord. You know what that means? That means if you're saved and you die right now, you will see Jesus Christ instantly. Listen. You can either, the Bible says, you can either wake up in hell or you can be present with the Lord Jesus Christ at death. I don't read anywhere in the Bible about purgatory. I don't read anywhere in the Bible about getting virgins. I read about eternal life, new Jerusalem, no pain, no sorrow, a new body. Or I read about going to hell and torment, being tormenting and torment. But if the Bible's true, if the Bible's true, there is a heaven, there is a hell. If you don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not go to heaven. That's the plain, simple fact. Jesus saves, and that's what the Bible says. 
Now, do you want to bet your soul that the Bible's wrong? Two thousand years of witness. Two thousand years of a blood trail witness of the Bible. Five hundred people witnessed the Lord Jesus Christ's resurrection. Over five hundred. There are witnesses to what the Bible says. Your soul depends on what God has said. It is your free will to believe or not to believe. That is your free will. I tell you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. If you want to go to heaven, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's what the Bible says. That is what I'm told to tell you what to do. I'm not going to force you. I'm not going to plead with you. I'm just going to tell you what the Bible says. It's your choice. Well, I pray you would believe on Jesus Christ to be saved. 